William Bushnell Stout created the unusual Stout Scarab minivan during the 1930s and 1940s in the United States. Stout Engineering Laboratories and later the Stout Motor Car Company in Detroit, Michigan produced it in a small number of units. This American car is a fantastic example of the Deco movement's goal to break with convention and create artifacts from an incredible technological future thanks to its smooth, curved surfaces and exceptional rarity. The Scarab is acknowledged as the first minivan in existence. William Bushnell Stout was a journalist, as well as an automobile and aircraft engineer. At a New York automobile show, he had a chance encounter with the renowned futurist, novelist, architect, and designer Buckminster Fuller. Fuller's dim action, a prototype teardrop car that could one day fly, was the subject of his article. There were only three dim actions made, but Stout was inspired to create the similarly innovative Scarab, which was unlike any other automobiles of the time. It appeared to him as a mobile office with a lengthy wheelbase. With the exception of the fixed seat for the driver in the center, the vehicle's lightweight unitary fuselage body contained movable seats and an optional table. The body combines aspects of an observation car and an airplane. A three-speed transaxle connected the 3.6-liter Ford V8 that was positioned at the rear to the rear wheels under the flat door. The Scarab provided independent all-around suspension with coil springs and oil shock absorbers during a time when vehicles had live axles and leaf springs. It is believed that the Scarab's long coil spring strut rear swing axle suspension, which resembled aircraft landing gear, was the inspiration for Lotus Chapman strut. Although the Scarab's rear engine provided a quiet, comfortable ride and easy steering, its aerodynamics and rear weight bias made for engaging handling. At $5,000, a custom-made Scarab was highly expensive just nine were built in Dearborn. This scarab was once owned by a Parisian publisher, and according to history, it was in Morocco during World War II the General Eisenhower and Charles de Gaulle met.